What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I'm talking about does KD really matter? I'm going to hop into some live gameplay, uh, see what kind of games we get this morning. But uh, a lot of people think that you know KD is a thing that actually you know really matters, and some people it doesn't matter too. Uh, of course, before I get into everything, make sure you're subscribed. If you're not, I would really appreciate it. Uh, a lot of people that watch the videos aren't subscribed, so if you take a second to subscribe, I really would uh, appreciate that. Make sure you have the bell notification in the top right corner of the of the channel there turned on. That way, you get notified when everything goes live. If you like the video, of course, I would appreciate a like and check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate GT racing. I will look at my stats before we fi try to find a game here. And my stats aren't not really that impressive. Um, played so far for three days, 17 hours, played zombies for about four hours and 58 minutes. Been really enjoying zombies as of late. Played a lot of solo matches. I'm absolutely horrible at it. But as you can see, I have 14,000 kills with a 157. A 136 win loss, which I would like to get up, but a lot of times I play with randoms, so it's hard to win in Dom and hard point when you're playing with randoms a lot of times. Uh, score per minute is 484. That has gone down some. It was a little bit higher at one point. It was over 500, which is still not really just crazy impressive, uh, honestly. But I started just using a UAV and a counter UAV and the grenade launcher. I was using things like, you know, maybe the UAV... Uh, and some other kill streaks, a like times a cruise missile, whatever the case may be. But just some of these kill streaks are not that impressive to me. And uh, I may swap up the day's gameplay, use the counter UAV, the UAV, and the cruise missile. I kind of have to wait and see. But I'm just not a big fan of the kill streaks. But like I said, as you can see, none of my stats are really that impressive. Let's see if we can hop into a game really quick. Uh, now the day I've added, in case you guys did not know, yesterday's playlist update added combined arms assault and domination down here in the bottom of the quick play filter which is absolutely awesome so you can choose which one you want to play let's see if we can find a game of domination uh maybe it won't be going let's hop into it and let's see when we get into the game kind of what mode we're, you know what map we're on uh if the score is uh, absolutely ridiculous or not we may have to find a new uh new lobby Well, it took about a minute to find a round or two. Uh, sometimes I don't know. It takes a long time for it to find a game. It's like we got into a combined arms dom on cartel, which is kind of a crazy uh, map. Sometimes you can just get spawn trapped like crazy. As you can see, uh, most of the lobby is level 100 to what we could see. It's every lobby I get in. <laughs> That's the one thing I kind of wanted to start with. I mean, I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, well, you know, you can get high KDs in the game, blah, 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 whatever the case may be. And most CODs in the past, I've always had two, 250, which like I've talked about before, which is not crazy uh, compared to some. But over the last several years, when, when skill-based matchmaking kind of comes into play, you're not going to get those kind of KDs anymore. And it never really was a thing that I cared a whole lot about. Yeah, you might just joke around with your friends and, you know, whatever the case may be. Uh, but it's not really that big of a deal. In all honesty, we're going to go with the 7-4-U, I think, here with this class setup. Um, I did not change my score streaks like I said I was going to. Oh, well. Um, but I, I don't know. I think a lot of people do get concerned about it. I, like I said, I really don't. Um, it's it's a struggle to get a high, high KD in this game. It's a struggle to get anything in this game a lot of times. And I know there's a lot of people out there that you know post a lot of stuff on social media that have these crazy gameplays. And I'm sure the majority of majority of us know that you know a lot of people reverse boost accounts. A lot of people, uh, you know, they go in and make dummy accounts where they have horrible KDs and they go back on their primary account and join off, join off of that, you know, to get into to, to noob lobbies. You know, whatever floats their boat, man. If you want to go in there and get some massive kills, you know, if that's what you want to do. That's what you can do. Uh, you know, I don't care one way or another, but. Uh, most of us know the majority of games that I post here on the channel. I mean, I might have some good ones here and there, but I think most of us have about the same kind of games over and over. You're going to get some decent ones. You're going to get some crap ones. Sometimes you're going to get just absolutely annihilated, and there's nothing you can do about it. I mean, you're just going to get destroyed, and that's just kind of how it goes. But in my overall opinion, I... When I look at a game, like I said, I wanted my win-loss to be higher because I would rather to have a higher win-loss than I would have, a, you know, kind of a higher KD. And, you know, that's just kind of how it, how it is to me. Uh, I'd rather play the objective and, and, and get wins than to get tons of, you know, crazy kills. You know, it's, it's fun to get crazy kill games, but at the same time, you know, if you get a win, a win's a win to me. If you look at Pro League matches, which of course the competition is absolutely insane in Pro League matches, everybody is just really, really good players. Even the worst player in Pro League is good. 
I mean, you look at most of those matches, yeah, some of those guys, some games have some crazy KDs. But most of the time, they're even, around even. And that's everybody on the team. They're just playing the objective. They're getting the win. That's what matters to them. It just does not matter what their score is, what their KD is, that kind of thing. I should have put a, a freaking... Um, uh, oh, my goodness. Something to block a lot of this nade spam. I know one thing I need to change real quick. I forgot. I was playing uh, Team Deathmatch yesterday and did not take my... This is what we need. Trophy system is the word I was trying to think of. Put on tack mask as well. Take off forward intel. But, like I said, pro players, don't, they don't really care. I mean, they're, they're just going for the win. That's kind of how I am. And like I said, it, it's hard to get a really good win, win streak going when you have, like I'm playing by myself right now. Now, when I play with friends, uh, you know, we got a group together. It's a little easier a lot of times because you don't have to worry about, you know, Getting shot in the back, this, that, and the other. You can kind of have some call outs with your friends, whatever the case may be. You know, you can get some help. Also, you know, if you have friends that, you know, aren't as good, high score per minutes, high KDs as you have, you can go in and actually get some fairly decent lobbies. That's the only time I really get lobbies that don't have a lot of, like, really high level players in it. I rarely, I would say one about every 50 games, do I actually get a game that doesn't have just tons of 100s in it, you know, same level as I am. But, you know, it kind of is what it is. We kind of have to learn to deal with the, like I said, the skill-based matchmaking. I don't think it's really going anywhere. I think it's going to be how COD is permanently. Unless everybody that plays just says to heck with it finally. I don't I don't know. And just quits playing. <laughs> I'm not sure what will ever happen or what will ever change. But overall, I really don't think it's uh, a, a big deal. I mean, I mean, like I said, some people concern themselves with it. And I understand if you do, um, you know, some things some people like. Like I said, it's fun to me between your friends just to joke around who has a higher KD, you know, whatever the case may be. But overall, like I said, I'd rather just get the win than anything else. Oh, I'm screwed. There's a dude in the window. I didn't even see him. Well, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Do you guys think that this win-loss is more important? Score per minute more important? Is your KD more important? Just go out and have fun. Who cares? Leave me, leave me a comment. Cause I know that's always a conversation, you know, goes on within Call of Duty. You know, people judge other players by how high their KD is. And I've played a lot of games. I had friends play a lot of games. They go negative, dead even. I mean, I played a game of uh, hard point the other day. We won by a pretty large margin. I was playing with just some randoms. I was like 35 and 28, 35 and 30. Not an impressive game, like KD wise whatsoever. But overall, the things that, you know, I did during the game, you know, flipping spawns, that kind of thing, helped us get a win. So, you know, that's kind of what matters to me, in all honesty. But leave me a comment with your thoughts. Oh, no. <laughs> also, let me know if you guys have been playing any uh, combined arms now that they split the playlist. I didn't notice that yesterday after the playlist update. That was one thing that I said several times in some past videos that I was really looking forward to was them splitting this playlist because I don't mind Assault. I've gotten some really, really good games of Combined Arms Assault. Don't get me wrong. But for the most part, most of them are over in two seconds and are not really that enjoyable uh, to play. So, oh, there's a dude on B. This is going to be... I'm sure he's in that right-hand corner. That's where most everyone usually sits. I was going to see if we pull the old switcheroo on him, shoot him in the back from the other way, but... He has somebody watching over him. Now we got a chopper coming in. This is going to get really annoying. And as you can see, the game's not, not great, 16 and 11. But, you know, it <laughs> doesn't really bother me having fun. Hopefully we're going to get a win here. Oh, man, I got smoked right there by XM4 of all things. I may end up being negative for this is over. I may have spoke too soon saying I was having just an alright game. <laughs> but yeah, for the most part, like I said, I, I like to post game plays of, you know, pretty much what we all experience. Because <laughs> this is pretty much how all my games go. I mean, there's some games, yeah, that I can average over a lot higher than a 2K day a game. And then most of the time, honestly, it's just not that great. You know, I mean, it'll be negative, even positive barely i mean that, that's what like i said as long as i get the win oh my goodness he's got a thermal on this i'm trying to pick this up for some range kills here 
I don't know about that. That's absolutely awful. I think I'll take my shotgun back. Thank you. Have you guys been using the shotguns a lot lately? I've kind of swapped over to them from the pistols just because I get so tired of getting killed by them 24-7. You know, so you can't beat them, join them. I'm sure there's somebody in here. There's never not someone around this area. That was some awful aim on my behalf. Luckily, we got him. I'm sure there's somebody in that tower that's going to smoke me right here. I don't know. I'm getting shot from every direction. This map for uh, Domination is kind of just a cluster. I mean, it's just crazy all the time, just right around this middle. Oh, wow, they got a chopper gunner, so I might want to get out of there. What does this do? 31 and 16. All right. I'm guessing this is. No, it's this guy's. He's 45 and 12. I mean, these people are playing a lot better than I am. My measly 21 and 14 over here on top of the leaderboard. It's not exactly impressive, but hey, we're going to get the win. It looks like. Don't want to jinx it yet, but it looks like we're going to get a win. They're going to cap everything right here, though. It's going to be the problem. More, more hanging out here in the weeds. No, a lot of people have been saying they want these weeds gone, and I agree. I, I think all this should be gone. There's so much cover on this map. It is just unreal how much cover is on this map. I don't know why we have up the middle of the map anyway. There's tons of things you can already get behind. I'm not sure why we have to have weeds everywhere as well. Trying to help you out there, dude. Oh, I'm in trouble now. Oh, no! I screwed myself using that. I should have waited. Mm. There's really best to wait, honesty. Uh, uh, in all honesty. If you're using that and you're trying to get some of your other streaks. Oh, my goodness. Um, like, I'm using UAV and counter UAV. If I go out here and get like a four, five, six, seven, eight gun streak again and then pull out the uh, launcher. I can stack my streaks pretty quickly. I can get your UAV, your counter UAVs back really fast because you get that extra bonus for having, you know, that streak with your gun already. And it does seem to work better. I see if anybody's home. Doesn't look like it. Oh, they got a VTOL out though, which is not cool at all. Almost did not see that guy from all the dirt from the veto. Oh, I'm in trouble now, though. Time to get out of here. Oh, dude ran at me with a knife. Not too bad of a game. 28 and 16, I'll take it. Not too horrible. I mean, yeah, we look at the other dude, 61 kills. I mean, I would love to get 61 kills every game, but that rarely ever happens. <laughs> I've had a couple games with the six kill games. It's, this is very rare. But anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Like I said, let me know what you think about KD. Do you think it's the most important thing? Do you think win-loss is? Do you think score per minute? I mean, like I said, it's just always a conversation in the community, no matter what first-person shooter you really play. But overall, like I said, it, I don't really worry about it too much. Yeah, it's nice to, you know, to see it go up. You know, you don't want to see it going down all the time. You know, you're overall KD. But just overall, I, I just don't. Like I said, I don't worry about it too much. And uh, I bring you the gameplay that I can bring you, you know. If it's good or bad, it's just what it is. <laughs> but anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.